So in this video, I will be showing you a very important option that you need to change with inside of disk utility running on the Mac OS, which will give you access to the full array of options for formatting external storage devices when using Mac OS. Now for this particular demonstration, I will be using two external SSDs. The first one is an Acasus TB501 enclosure with a Western Digital 4 terabyte SN850X SSD with inside of it. And then the second one is an Acasus TB501 Pro enclosure. And this has got an Oroco 4 terabyte 07000 SSD with inside of it. Now to be clear it does not matter what type of enclosure or what type of SSD you use this particular guide is going to be applicable to anything that you connect as far as external storage is concerned to your Mac when formatting under disk utility and lastly as well i'm using an m4 max macbook pro here for this particular demonstration however the very same thing will apply to any apple silicon mac but first a quick word from this video's sponsor who is acasis acasis are the market leader when it comes to thunderbolt peripherals for your apple silicon mac from thunderbolt 4 and thunderbolt 5 ssd enclosures through to Thunderbolt hubs and docking systems. With industry-leading, blazing fast speeds, Acasis has you covered. For more information about the entire Acasis product lineup, go to acasis.com and use the discount code DAVID15 for 15% 15 off anything you buy at the Acasis website. Okay, so I'm onto the desktop for my MacBook here. Now, if you hear any noise in the background or any fan noise, just to be clear, that is coming from my Atomos Ninja, which is what I use to record the HDMI output from my Macs. It most certainly is not anything to do with the Macs or the enclosures. Now, also, as we can see here on the desktop, I have got two external drives connected now the first drive here says wd apfs that is indeed a western digital ssd with inside a tb501 enclosure formatted to apfs and then the second one here says orico xfat and that is a four terabyte orico ssd which again is inside of an acasus tb501 and that is formatted to xfat now let me just quickly show you the base properties here so if i do get info on the wd apfs as we can see here it says format apfs then if i do the same for the orico let me just drag that over here. And once again, as we can see here, as far as format is concerned, that says XFAT. So as we can quite clearly see then, two separate SSDs and both of them are using different disk formats. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is to just come down to my disk utility. Now to start off with, what I'm going to do is to show you what view I'm in as far as disk utility is concerned. So if we have a look at where it says disk utility, if I tap on the arrow next to it, which is above view, as we can see here, it says show only volumes. Now, this is where potentially you can run into problems. So if we have a look here for the external drives, we can definitely see both of the external drives and the pop up with their names. However, there are a few restrictions now as to what we can do with these drives, which are down to the view type that we are in. So let me just quickly show you. So as a for instance, the WDAPFS here, let's just say we want to reformat this to XFAT for whatever reason, we just want to change its format. So with the WDAPFS selected, I'm now going to come over to Arrays. Now, where it says Format, I'm going to tap into here. And as we can see, the only options that we have got available to us are variations of APFS. We definitely don't see XFAT in there, and we also don't see any other of the options which are normally presented to us within Disk Utility. Now, on top of that, we also don't see the partition scheme type either, so we can't select that. So let me just cancel out of there. However, if I come back up to where it says Disk Utility, tap on the arrow, and now what I'm going to do is to tap on Show All Devices, 
Now what I'm going to do is to go back to the root of that SSD or that external drive. Now in this mode here, we can obviously see its container structure and we can also see the partition type. However, if I just click back onto the root of the SSD there or the external drive. Now, if I go back to arrays, as we will see here, if I tap into it, it says format. We can now change it to XFAT or indeed we could go to Mac OS journal and stuff like that or indeed just go straight to FAT as well. On top of that, we can also change the scheme type here so we can go between GUID partition mapping to MBR or master boot record and also Apple partition map. So as we can clearly see, a whole bunch of these options were not available to us when we were in the other view type. So let me just cancel out of there. Now what I'm going to do is once again, switch the view type to show only volumes. And let's just remind ourselves of what we can see when we look at the Orico, which is formatted to XFAT currently. So I'll select this. I will now come over to arrays. I will tap with inside format. Now, as we can see here, we are now presented with a number of different format options. So we could indeed, if we wanted to, reformat to APFS and that might all seem fine. However, as we can see here, we still don't see the scheme type either as a selectable option. Now, the problem that we may have here is that depending upon the size of this particular SSD, it may have originally have been formatted using the MBR scheme or the master boot record scheme. Now, this becomes a problem because although we can change to APFS, the disk would still be in the MBR format when indeed we are more likely to want that to be in the GUID partition mapping scheme. So if I just cancel out of here, and if I go back to the view, if I change the view to show all devices, make sure that I've just selected the root of the Orico media drive there. I will then go back to arrays. Now, once again, if I click back into APFS, we can reselect APFS so we can format to APFS from XFAT. But importantly, now we can select GUID partition map. Now, just to be really clear, originally, this particular SSD may have been formatted using master boot record. And that is highly likely to be the case if this were a small SSD and maybe it has come from from say a Windows system or an Android system or a Linux system, when in fact we definitely would want to be using the GUID partition map. So once again, we only get our full selection of options for the formatting if we have the view within show all devices. Anyway, there are a whole bunch of other things that can go on here as well, where we definitely would want to be in show all devices. And that is if we want to start then doing further repartitioning of any of the SSDs. However, that stuff is for another video. Now, just one last quick thing for some people out there, this video may have explained why they have had certain problems trying to format certain drives when connected to their Max, and this most certainly was the case for me when originally I was trying to format some of my older Windows external drives on my Mac. So without that option being selected correctly, I just wasn't able to format those particular drives properly to my Mac formats. Now, initially it kind of did look like there was a problem with the hard drives or the external storage, but in fact there wasn't. It was just literally that one option needed change. And so this was actually something that I'd gotten stuck on until it kind of worked out what those two options really did mean as far as like how far you could go with formatting the external storage devices. So hopefully Hopefully this has explained something to people out there if they've run into the same problem that I had originally been running into. Anyway, that will do it for this video. If you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.